I like to think of art as really the umbrella for when it comes to the STEAM model. The STEAM model is obviously very popular right now to think about science, technology, engineering, art, and math together. Being the art teacher, of course, I think that art is the big overriding factor for all of them. And so if we look at art making and creativity, it really covers the four of science, technology, engineering, and math. And it shows that math isn't always black and white and art isn't always black and white because there's a lot of gray and connection between them all. By focusing on math and art too, you're showing students that there's no definition of creativity or being good at art. Lots of times students will say, well, I'm not good at drawing, or even adults will say, I'm not good at drawing, so therefore, I am not good at art. But if someone might be more math-brained, that doesn't mean their creativity is diminished whatsoever. Or for example, if someone's particularly gifted at rendering drawings, does not mean that all of a sudden that their math skills will be subpar. So by making those connections for our students in the classroom on purpose, they then will have a better mindset as they go into other classrooms and subjects. And I like to think it adds legitimacy to both. I always thought, as a student myself, math averse, ugh, I don't want math, it's not my thing, I'm just going to shrink back, I'm going to wait to be told what to do, but in the art room I was really forthright, I advocated for myself, why not change that up? I wish I could have advocated for myself in the, art cla in the math classroom when it came to those subjects. So it's really not a reason of why, the whys are many. Now let's talk about how, specifically when it comes to finding concrete connections of math and art together.